Hello everyone. Hey, I am making pizza. Making pizza. This is um kind of my favorite pizza. I've been making this a lot lately. Let me zoom in on the crust here so you can see what I'm dealing with. It is so good. I know it looks really weird, doesn't it? It looks so strange, but it is so delicious. This is a pizza crust that I have been buying lately uh, from a, a Florida company called Sammy's Bakery. I'm sorry, I'm having technical difficulties here. There, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been buying this and I love it. And my husband, who is far from being plant-based, also loves it. And he will eat my pizza, my plant-based pizza, if I make it with this pizza crust. So I'm making it all the time. Um, anyway, I'm just taking some uh, some tomato puree. A tomato sauce will work just as well. And in the meantime, I'm preheating my oven to 375 Fahrenheit. That's a little bit better. And I'm going to say this is like a a quarter cup scoop. So I'm going to say about three quarters of a cup to start with. And just really work that all the way around. Get it. I'm going to add a little bit more because I really like it around the edges. I like my sauce to be all the way out there. Just leave a little bit on the edge with no sauce, but um, as delicious as this crust is from Sammy's Bakery, if you don't have some moisture around the edges, it will get really crunchy. And I like it crunchy. It's like a, um, it's kind of like a cracker crust or something like that. It's really good though. Um, I guess if you don't like thin and crispy pizzas, you might not like this crust if you, you know, prefer something chewier. But um, otherwise, give this one a go. Once you get your sauce on there, I just sprinkle a little Italian seasoning over the whole thing, just like that. And that's just a mixed Italian seasoning. And then I like to sprinkle a little bit of um, nooch, nutritional yeast, for those of you who aren't familiar with that term. Um, and you know, I, I, I guess not everybody loves it like I do, but I really love it. So I put on quite a bit. This is probably a couple, a couple tablespoonfuls, maybe, all over there. And it just gives it a really good flavor and kind of thickens up your sauce a little bit, too. And then over here, here's one I've, I've cut up to go on my, my pizza today. Um, I've got red peppers, some yellow onion, some uh, black olives, and some cooked spinach. And that started off as a whole lot more spinach. It's amazing how spinach just cooks down. Let's load it up. I think I'll start with the onions and peppers. I'm just gonna kind of mix them together, sprinkle them all on there. sure and get your your toppings all the way out to the edges because sometimes people have a tendency to really put those all in the middle and the middle can get a little soggy if you do that this crust won't get soggy though I can guarantee that this one just doesn't do that and then I just did the the black olives I just took a can of black olives and cut each one of those in half that's really where the calories come from <laughs> oh. I'm not sure what he's barking at. Um, the calories come from your black olives in this dish. And the crust, of course, does have some calories, but um, lots of fiber as well. So don't even worry about that. <laughs> What's the matter, Simba? He's my watchdog. He's keeping an eye on things. And then I'm just going to sprinkle this chopped spinach. Now what I did is I took fresh spinach and I put it in the microwave. Uh, for about three minutes and this was a whole bunch of, of chopped spinach it was amazing how it cooks down to just nothing 
And then after I cooked it, I, I took paper towels and really um, squeezed the water out of it because, you, you know, nothing worse than wet spinach to, you know, soggy out your pizza. Nobody likes that. Now, I didn't choose to put any kind of um, alternative meat product on here. Uh, you could if you wanted to. You know, it's up to you. Um, I just didn't. I get kind of tired of that stuff. Now what I'm going to do is take my um, my cashew cheese. This is the creamy cashew cheese. I made this in a previous video. If you didn't see that, go back and watch it. It's so easy to make. And I'm just going to drizzle this all over it. And you can even put more on after it's all baked. And there's my oven. My oven is ready to go. So I'm going to put it in the oven now, and then I'll come back when it's done, and I'll show you a picture of it. Thanks for watching.